Hey guys, I'm Tim Langs with Red Dog Bushcraft and today while we're out here shooting some videos out in the training area I thought we'd have a little coffee chat. So pull up your favorite beverage and sit, sit back and let's just chat for a minute. The thing I want to talk to you today about is the active shooter scenarios that we see being played out across the United States more and more nowadays. There's a couple of things that we can do that can keep us more aware. Situational awareness plays a huge part in the victim versus survivor versus the ones who are killed in these scenarios. Now, sometimes there's nothing you can do. I mean, I, I've, I've heard of the random shooters that go out and the guy's setting up like a sniper and he goes out and he shoots someone from a great distance in a, in a place that's visited daily and there's really not a whole lot you can do to protect yourself in those particular scenarios. But there's many times during the course of our lives that we can take an active role and not just be passive and walking around with blinders on. I highly recommend that anyone who has access to the internet, and if you're watching this video, you do, go to the Department of Homeland Security and look at the videos that they have put out on what to do in an active shooter scenario. It's called Run, Hide, and Fight. And these are great things. And they mention some ideas or some concepts that I'm going to key in just a little bit as they get into their what to do during an active shooter event. But before that event starts, they mention just a few things I want to kind of add a little bit to that. They talk about situational awareness and that as you're out and as you're traveling, uh, being aware of your surroundings, looking for things that look out of place, watching for those people as they come in or they enter a building. When you enter a building or you're going into a venue, keeping a sense of awareness around you and this is not just for an active shooter this is for a fire or an emergency medical situation or uh, maybe some type of a natural catastrophe or earthquake or something that could take place you want to look for your exits look at how are you going to get out of this place how are other people entering this facility how many different ways are there for people to get in are you sitting in a position or uh oriented to where you have a good view of the area around you and do you have an exit in that is accessible to you and do you have more than one all of these things can add to your survivability in these situations where are the fire extinguishers the pull stations in the building where are the stairwells so that we don't have to rely on an elevator system what is the emergency evacuation plan? Many commercial buildings now, as you enter these buildings, have a placard on the inside that show, in the event of an emergency, your primary and your secondary way out of these facilities. All of these things can come into play. There is nothing that will ever take the place of a person being aware being able to see something coming at you or having a, an idea already in your mind of how to react when a situation occurs can greatly enhance your survivability. And remember, a moving target is a lot harder to hit than one that is just sitting there. Yes, there is a time to take cover and just hide. There is a difference between cover and concealment. Cover is something that's gonna protect you that you're behind that's gonna stop let's say a gunshot round or the ceiling from falling on you during an earthquake. Concealment is simply hiding, a place that you can get. And don't forget, we all carry cell phones nowadays. And if you're hiding, the last thing you want is for that cell phone to go off. And don't forget, vibration mode is not silence. Sometimes you're sitting in an office somewhere and someone's phone goes off and it's on vibrate mode and everybody knows it. You can hear that thing go off. So silent is really the way that you want to go. And truly, in a lot of these uh, uh, public places, when we're there for plays or uh, speaking engagements, and these phones should already be on silence mode. There's nothing more embarrassing than sitting in a church service or sitting at a funeral home or some type of a memorial service or a business meeting and your phone going off during the middle of the meeting. It's, uh, 
it's not only embarrassing, but in the right circumstances, it could cost you your life. So remember those things as you go out and as you make your way through your daily routines. If you'll start practicing these things on a daily basis, not during the big concerts or the sporting events, but just when you go to the grocery store, when you're out shopping, when you go to your place of work, when you go to pick up your kids at school, watch not only for doors and exits, but what about roadways? How's the best way to get in and the best way to leave? Take some varying routes every once in a while. Try going to a location from a different direction and going in to the parking lot from a different entrance, just so that you're familiar with it and you know the traffic pattern. So that if something ever happens and the primary way that you go is blocked, it could be something as simple as conge of congestion from uh, highway construction. It's no big deal because you've used an alternate route enough times that you are comfortable of exiting or entering into a facility from a different direction. All of these things that are practiced on a daily basis will start to hone your skills and the more you look, the more you will see, the more will be revealed to you and the more comfortable you'll be as you're out and about. And you'll start doing these type of things just as a second nature. You won't even think anything about it. And you and those that travel with you will be much safer because of it. Don't forget to check out those videos from the Department of Homeland uh, and uh, you'll see uh, what I'm talking about. They're under the, the active shooter program, but there's a lot of information on there with FEMA also that talks about how to prepare for different natural emergencies that can take place. Guys, take an active role in your safety. Don't be the victim who's just waiting for somebody to come to the rescue. Do something, move, get out of the area, take an active role in your survivability. Take care, God bless, and until next time, I'm Tim Langston with Red Dog Bushcraft, home of global safety and survival.